Welcome Libra and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message on your twin flame journey. Week commencing Monday the 30th of November through to Sunday the 6th of December 2020. I've already pulled your crowning message cards and your crowning wisdom cards. And if this resonates with you already, please click that thumbs up on the video so that it can be pushed out to more Libras out there. Let's get straight into your cards. Libra, for your crowning message, you have metamorphosis, refocus, and restart. Okay, Libra, I feel as though you most definitely have gone through um, a, a major transformation um, for sure. Uh, and I feel as, as you've gone through that, transformation, truly waking up, I feel to who you are, your life purpose, the significance of this connection that you are thinking about, it has enabled you to refocus, refocus your energy, your outlook, refocus the path in which you're going. That is abundant growth evolution. That's what I feel that you've gone through and it's enabled you to refocus in a real, real big way. You might still have a bit of residual transformation that you're going through and it may be a transformation around your emotions, your feelings, but I feel as though that cloud is lifting and as it does, I feel that you're welcome, welcome in um, a new start, a fresh start. It's as though somebody is offering you growth, wanting to build, plant those seeds. It may be something really small, but I feel that this fresh start is somebody coming in, offering that to you. Beautiful message. Libra also as well, because this is a twin flame message, this may also be the person that you are focusing on, that you are thinking about during this message. They may have gone through um, a major transformation to do with their feelings, emotions. Maybe they were cocooned for a long while and they are now transforming into this beautiful transparent butterfly, transparent, wanting to have a fresh start with you. The connection with you has refocused them to come out of the dark and take a new path that is full of growth, abundance. Maybe you're connecting with your inner child, Libra. Let's have a look at your crowning wisdom message. You have 232, romance yourself as a way of attracting more of this energy into your life. Absolutely, Libra, it's as though whatever metamorphosis you've gone through or the person that you are thinking about has gone through, it's as though, it's as though they're beginning to love themselves, you're beginning to love yourselves. And I feel as though you're being encouraged to continue on that path it's as though it's refocused you maybe refocus them also with the coloring of this kind of um orangey color it it re represents the sacral of the chakra it's as though libra you may be really feeling this person passionately, sexually, but your, your feelings, your emotions are heightened. Maybe part of that transformation was to understand your feelings and emotions. Maybe it was the person that you're thinking about, they had to understand their feeling and emotions. Both of you may be going through a bit of self-love. Loving yourself first. Like I said, connecting with that inner child. 
so that you can go forward and have this fresh start with somebody and then with you. Your second card, 533, a change in scenery may help to clear the mind. A short trip or vacation may be helpful. Absolutely, it's as though you're taking a whole new path for this fresh start. They are as well. You may be at a distance from each other, but I feel as though you're both on this path, refocused, heading towards each other. And it's been after a period of transformation. It's as though you or the person or both of you have been cocooned in your emotions, in your feelings. Maybe you've gone through heartache, despair, anguish, loss that had you cocooned in your emotions for such a long time. But I feel that you have, you're cut, you've definitely come out of that and it's refocused you. Maybe you are at a distance uh, from each other and maybe, you know, booking that ticket to go and visit them or for them to book that ticket and come and visit you. Or if you're in the same country, you know, however you need to get to each other. Because it's as though the, coming out of this metamorphosis state, you are recognising that there is life, growth, evolution after being in this cocoon it's as though you've been reborn connecting with your inner inner child refocusing going forward because you want this fresh start and by taking that trip you may have to um if it's not a trip to one another if you are in union maybe you're being guided to visit a place of significance, maybe that will trigger more of your feelings, emotions, helping you to apply self-love. And your third message, 1313, earth angels are surrounding you as you face a challenging time in your connection. So do you know something, um, Libra? Maybe this refocus that both of you are going through, there may be some further challenges in front of you. So by applying that self-love, that self-care to you, to this connection, it's going to enable you to face whatever challenge is coming towards you. It's as though... With the red in this heart, you need to remain grounded because there may be some things that may come into this connection that may that may shake you for a hot minute. Which is why you may need to take a trip somewhere to clear your mind, have clarity, refocus and stay on that path of growth of abundance, of evolution. And as you do so, you will most definitely see that fresh start. It may start off very small, but it is solid. It will grow. And I feel that this person is coming in wanting to give to this connection. You may be wanting to give to this connection. And I feel it's going to become quite transparent but there may be something that may just derail it slightly. I don't feel it's anything to worry about, but I feel it's something that you are being guided to ground yourself, love yourself, apply self-care. Because it will help you to stay rooted to who you are. And I feel that divine spirit universe are going to bring people around you that are your earth angels to help you through whatever it is you need to refocus on because if this person is also going through a metamorphosis they may not quite be there yet they may not quite be out of that transformation 
and you may be ahead of them in your transformation and therefore they may not give to this connection as much as you would want them to i feel that they want to but it, it may be really small and for some reason it may create a bit of a challenge for you but i feel that you're being guided to stay focused on that path bring some fun and youth and innocence and purity into this connection romance yourself romance the connection Let's get straight into your cards, Libra. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me how does the twin flames of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love on their twin flame journey for week commencing Monday the 30th of November through to Sunday the 6th of December 2020? What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Libra? That I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all. As above, so below and all around me, thank you. All right. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me how does, thank you, look at that, reinvention, okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me, thank you, union, absolutely, oh. My angels, thank you. Oh, look at that. Winter. All right, let me just continue before I start speaking while I'm getting the download of messages. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Ooh, thank you. All right. And your last two cards. Yep, awakening and crossroads. <laughs> okay, Libra, I feel as though the person that you are connecting to, they've definitely gone through a metamorphosis, absolutely recognising this connection for what it is, and it is most definitely a twin flame. And I feel as though they are reinventing themselves, very focused. They've refocused an old way of thinking, and going towards a new way of thinking that is abundant, grow, growth. They've evolved, they've grown. And I feel as though they are reinventing themselves to come into union with you for a fresh start. This is somebody you know, Libra. And I feel that this union is going to come into fruition for the winter months. And for me, that is December, January and February. This person may be seeking balance, Libra, with you. You may have been giving them balance, helping them go through this metamorphosis. And I feel for sure that they have most definitely woken up to this union, to this connection. They're definitely waking up. And it's, I feel that you're going to know about it in the months of December, January and February. I feel that their energy coming here is the um, divine masculine. The divine feminine is up here with the, the female on this card. It's as though you are both, um, you both still may be quite young. Or the connection is quite young coming into union. But they feel that they are at a crossroads. You know what? You may be at a distance from this person for real. And they may not be able to see how, the, how this connection is going to work. But by having a change in scenery, 
both of you, I think it will give you some clarity. Maybe you just need to visit each other. Maybe challenging during this, you know, lockdown and the current climate that we're in at the moment. But if you can't get to each other, apply some self-love because you are connecting on that soul level and this person is awakening. I feel as though by you remaining focused on the path that you're supposed to go on, I feel as if they're going to wake up and they're going to follow you on that soul level. So keep your vibration up and feel those senses. Don't deny it, even if they, you know, are quite intimate, passionate senses. Feel them, embrace them, own them. Because as you do that, I feel that they will, it will help them through that awakening process, which I do feel that they've gone through. But they may not know how quite how to progress this connection. They may not feel good enough for you right now. Still going through a bit of a transformation. I feel that like you've already gone through it. Let's have a look. You've already gone through your re, um, your transformation, Libra. You're you are already refocused. They may be waking up, wanting to give to this connection, recognizing that you are their divine counterpart. But I feel that they're really properly going to be awoken in the months of December, January and February. Not sure how to... How to progress this connection. Thank you. Look at that. We have got the five of wands. This person is conflicted. They truly may not feel that they're good enough for you and they're trying to reinvent themselves. Yeah, they're conflict conflicted over you. This is most definitely divine masculine and this is the divine feminine up here. Libra, this is you up here. I'm speaking to the divine feminine Libras here. This person, your divine masculine Libra, most definitely sees you as an empress. Somebody that is fertile, abundant, grounded, rooted, very, very abundant. They feel the world of you. They think the world of you. But it, it they have really been conflicted or they may think there's competition, which is why they're trying to reinvent themselves. And I feel that they're trying to move away from that. Whatever is conflicting them, whatever they are, whatever... Whatever they're trying to reinvent after this internal confliction or feeling that they need to fight for you because there's competition for you, I feel as though they're going to move away from what, what doesn't serve them. And this internal conflict is not serving them at all. That's probably why they, they were in this metamorphosis state going through a transformation and I feel as though now they're, they're refocused. Refocused, wanting to reinvent, be the best that they can be when they come into union. And as they move away from what's not serving them, I feel as though they're moving towards your energy, that empress coming into union for a fresh start. Thank you. Yeah. Whatever it is that had them conflicted or if they felt they had competition, I feel that they're putting that down. Trying to rest that monkey mind, holding on to you for dear life. They may not be a brilliant communicator, Libra, with the amount of swords back to back here. But you know what? They do know that they, they, they are supposed to be in union with you and they want this fresh start. My angels and spirit guides of the divine, please, can you clarify further? How does the twin flames? Thank you. Oh, this person has gone through a lot of disappointment and heartache. 
but I feel they're just waking up to see that this connection with you, look at those two cups there, are divinely guided. And I feel that they're going to be moving out of this energy here with these three cards in the winter months, December, January, February. Thank you. Oh, oh, look. They see you as marriage material. You know what, um, Libra? It's almost as though your energy, them knowing you, you being in their life, even if you're not in fully in, in full union, you've really helped them transform and come at totally transform. Look how clear those butterflies are. It's as though their feelings for you is 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 really clear. It's refocused them and they want to give to this connection with you. Most definitely awakening, seeing you as marriage material. And it's as though whatever wasn't serving them to do with disappointment, heartache, it's as though they're moving away from that and they're coming towards you. It must have created a lot of conflict how they felt towards you, Libra. And they may have been a bit silent about that not brilliant at communicating how they felt and I feel they've gone through a transformation of their feelings and emotions for you recognizing that they want to marry you and I feel with the seven of coins here it's as though this person is awakening to recognizing that you've put in a lot of energy and nurturing into this connection. And the seeds that you planted have most definitely grown and they're just ready for the picking. They see you, I feel, as somebody that's happy, happy to give to this connection, happy to nurture it. And they're waking up to that. The seeds have been planted for sure. And I feel that it's growing. Starting out small, but it is definitely growing. And it's because you are their wish fulfillment. They are awakening to the fact that you have lived many, many lives with this person. They are awake. Well, you may be awakening, Libra, to recognizing that you've lived many, many lives with this person. But they are also awakening to the fact that they've lived many, many lives with you. And they can see that you've put in the work, the nurturing. And whatever crossroads that they are, they are at, I feel that they want to fight for this connection. They may genuinely feel they have competition, you know. But they are going to fight for this connection even though they don't quite know what direction to go, how to progress this connection, they see you as their wish fulfillment, marriage material. It's like it's time for them to put 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 down heartache, overanalyzing, non-communication, and have this fresh start. And look, they're in that hangman position. It's as though they want to fight for this connection, but they are at that crossroads, spiritually stagnant, reflecting how can, how can they progress and move this connection forward for this fresh start, wanting to fight, wanting to fight for this connection. You both may have a brief visit to each other if you're not living in the same in the same household or if you are living in the safe same household this person has woken up to the fact that this is a fresh start for both of you it's as though the relationship is moving to that next level and they may suggest taking a vacation 
but they're still reflecting. Not quite sure, should I, should I not? And that may be the challenge, challenging times that your earth angels are around you at this time, Libra, to ground you with that red in that heart. Mm, let's have a look and see, Libra, what your what their message to you is on a soul level. My angels and oh, thank you. OK, your first message from your twin flame says, I've thought a lot about you lately. Absolutely. That's why they want to reinvent themselves, be the best version of themselves to come into union with you. My angels and spirit guides of the divine. Please, can you tell me? Thank you. Your next message from your twin flame, Libra. I don't know if I can meet your expectation. What did I say with reinvent? It's as, it's as though they feel they're not good enough for you. And they want to reinvent themselves so that they can be the best version of themselves for you. I don't know how I feel anymore. And that is the awakening. It's almost as if this connection has just hit them so deeply that they don't, they want to give to this connection. That's too much there. They want to, they want to give to this connection, but it's as though they can only give a small amount right now. But I feel that your spirit team is coming in to say it's going to grow. It's going to be something that's solid. Rooted. And as I feel. They are awakening, coming out of this metamorphosis. They may be still a little bit confused. As to how to progress this connection what to do wanting to fight for you which is probably why they're in this hangman position reflecting on how to bring this union into into fruition one more message please thank you and your final message from your twin flame libra says something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is. Absolutely. That's why they're in this hangman stagnant position. They don't they don't know. They don't know how to. They don't know how to progress this connection. That's what's missing for them. They feel you on that deep soul level. You guys may really honestly be at a different like different locations from each other. And they may not be able to see how this is going to work. But they are trying to do whatever they can to make it happen, to be the best that they can be for you. They want this fresh start for sure. And to come into union. Powerful message for you. Um, Libra and I feel do you know what as they are going through this awakening process I feel that you are being guided to just love yourself right now embrace the feelings look at how this card is embracing keep your balance Libra embrace how you feel for this person because you're what you're feeling is very very real and I feel that they're feeling it too but they just don't know how to get to you you really must be at a different location. If you are already in union with your twin flame, they may be recognising that something needs to change in this relationship and they don't know how to do that yet. They want this fresh start and I feel that they're being guided to refocus, refocus their attention on you where the growth abundance evolution is and i feel that that last message is letting you know that something is missing for them and maybe they may have to just 
take a little break because it will be helpful to give them clarity of how to progress this connection. They may want to pop the question to you with that four of wands, seeing you as marriage material, you know. Those are for those of you that are in union with the, your twin flame. But there's something that they need clarity on. And they're not quite sure how to progress it. So if you are in union with this person, Libra, and they kind of say that they've got to take a little bit of a break, you know, clear their mind, I, I, I would say don't worry about it. Apply self-love, let them do what they've got to do because there's something they've got to figure out. And I just feel as though they may want to pop the question, but they don't know how to do it. And they may do it in the months of December, January, February. Okay, I think that's it, Libra. That's it. That's it. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Libra, if this resonated for you, as I said at the beginning, please click that thumbs up on the video. Um, to help the video get pushed out to more Libras out there. So it's quite a, a beautiful message. Um, hang, hang tight. There, there's a fresh start most definitely coming in for both of you. Um, if you do know the sun, moon, rising and Venus signs of your twin flame, I also would recommend checking out their signs because that may give you some more insight. Also check out your moon rising and venus signs as well libra because again by putting the two the two signs together will help you i feel for sure i'm just thinking what other so you've got the major arcana for aquarius here doesn't have to be could be any air sign Maybe another Libra or Gemini. Let me just have a quick look. I think that's the only major arcana that's out, yeah. That's the only major arcana that's out. Libra, Aquarius or Gemini. You might have strong Aquarius or they might have strong Aquarius in their chart. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I'm, I'm grateful for that last bit of clarity for Libra. All right. Libra. Um, I'm going to leave it there and... If you wish to subscribe, I welcome you to Spirit and Truth, Tribe Family. And until next week, I'm just sending you loads and loads of love, peace and light. Take care. Bye-bye. Okay.